said. Painting is poetry that is to be felt rather than seen. That is to be seen rather than felt. Poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. Artists are dreamers and look at the world beyond art, beyond for their inspiration. There are no boundaries to their imagination and that is art beyond borders. This contemporary art show displays the world of eminent and emerging artists from the Indian subcontinent. Art Mudra, the brainchild of Daksha Parvana, seeks to create a platform connecting art and artists to the international audience. And what better place than Dubai, the, the creative hub of the Middle East? To encourage us in this venture, we have amongst us, we have been honored by the presence of His Excellency E.P.C. Taran, Ambassador of India to the UAE, Srivasu Shah, Chairman Regal Group Holdings and Chairman India Club, Dr. Dilip Raja, neurologist and andrologist practicing in Mumbai and Dubai. The iconic Mr. Sunil Thomas III needs no word for introduction. May I request all of you to light the lamp and declare the exhibition to be over. We have the greatest artist of all times. His canvas length is 22 yards and his brush is his bat. His strokes created history in the world of cricket and people world over flock to see his artist, Mr. Sunil Gauss. <laughs> Thank you. These are absolutely uh, marvelous words. Uh, and uh, I, I do sincerely appreciate that introduction because, you know, generally uh, at functions uh, that I go to, uh, the master of ceremonies uh, tends to get away by saying, oh, so he needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a completely different introduction and one which is most, you know, most appreciated uh, because uh, actually when you're playing, you don't really think in terms of uh, these things because you're actually you're reacting to what the bowler is bowling. So you're not looking at drawing any any any, any uh, particular stroke. It's depending on the ball, depending on on, on your footwork, etc. Uh, so it's it's a whole different thing. And uh, therefore, when you come to an occasion like this, an evening like this, and see uh, you know the brilliance around it, that's the only thing that I can say about it. It's just absolutely brilliant because you know the amalgamation of the colors that you see. The, uh, the variety in it, the, the thought process behind it. When you try and sort of you know, sit down, you're, you know, I mean, for somebody who can't draw a straight line, I mean, this is absolutely mind-boggling. And uh, recently, of course, I've got a lot more interested in this simply because my granddaughter now is uh, a bit of a budding artist. Uh, one of her pieces is going to be, uh, and she gave me about five years ago, six years ago, is, is, is something that I cherish. It's going to be in my my office. Uh, we've just moved office, that's why it's not yet up there. But uh, therefore, I look now at uh, things and, and look look with different eyes. Often earlier on, just tended to sort of look and you know move away. Now you tend to stay there and try and you know, get a 
grasp of what it is, what the effort that has uh, gone into it. So all I can say once again to Peter is it's uh, mind boggling and I'm, I'm looking forward to Ashla's uh, uh, efforts and the great professional stopper. But to all those who are exhibiting here, I just want to say um, tremendous, absolutely marvelous. Uh, uh, please uh, keep on doing uh, what uh, your heart can do to because I think it comes from the heart of the heart and what you can see in your mind because uh, what, what your heart and your mind is showing is absolutely